In this video, we are going to send emails from Next.js application. What I have is a new Next.js project. On the home page, I've removed what was there and added a button. When this button is clicked, this function is called and then email should be sent. These other things are not really needed. We are focusing on sending email, so the UI should not really matter. The use client here is because when you are making use of something like this use state, this is no longer a server component. I want the implementation for sending emails to be on the server side. So what I'm going to do is to have an API route that I can call from this function and the email should be sent. Let me start by using fetch API to we are going to add the API route in a moment. Let's call it emails. And then this is going to be a post request post. But then the response, which we can transform to JSON, response.json. And then if any data is returned from that API call, I want to set result with that data. And if there is an error, let's catch that error. Let me also set result to be the error. Set result error. Finally, I want to set loading to false. But initially, let's set loading to be true. So down here, I'm just displaying whatever that we have inside the result and when it is loading, showing this text. Now let's go ahead and create this API file. I will go to src slash app and add the folder accordingly. This is just Next.js stuff. Then inside here, I'm going to add route.ts file. Before we write the code here, let me have a utility function for sending emails so that we can call it in this route handler. I'll go to SRC, let me add a folder called utils. And inside this utils, let me add a file called this uh, mail.utils.ts. You can name it anyhow you want. To send emails, we are going to make use of a package, NodeMailer. So let me go ahead and install NodeMailer. npm install node mailer which is a popular package then here i'm going to import node mailer from node mailer uh, because we are using typescript let me also add the the types so this is going to be a dev dependency I'm going to run npm install save dev types node mailer and the error should go away Next, let's create what is called transport. Transport to be equal to node mailer dot create transport, and we pass the options. I'm going to pass host. These credentials for our email is going to be stored in a dot env file. So I'm going to say process dot env dot. Let's call this one mail host. I will copy and paste for the other options. The next one is going to be port, which we can say mail port. The next is whether this should use TLS. For my local environment, let me disable it. Let me set to false. Or let me say if it should be true, if not in development environment. Can set your own value to true, and then we have out. So this is going to take the user user process dot env dot sma user and password process dot env dot mail password. I'm getting some TypeScript related error here. So 
to make that go away I'm going to say this is as SMTP SMTP transport dot options now let's go ahead and export a function for sending the email so let's call this export const send email this function will take a parameter about the message we want to send let me define a type here say type send email uh, part detail whatever come on here we're going to have sender that is the email that we send out this email let's have a type imported from node mailer the type is address and we are going to let's call this one recipient and this is going to be the same type but you can send to multiple recipients at the same time so let me use an array there and then subject for of the email this is going to be a string and uh, the message body this is also going to be a string which can be HTML um, string then over here I'm going to pass that send email detail and grab those fields from DTO. Oh, not like that. So we have sender, recipient, subject, and message. Now we can make use of the transport object we created above to send email. I'm going to return await transport dot send email. This takes similar options like um, what we have in the detail to use await this function has to be declared as async so let's have from which is the same as the sender sender and two this is going to be the recipient one or multiple and html this is going to be the message and you can add text this is going to be a plain text version of the HTML message but for this demonstration I'm not going to bother let me just pass the same thing here finally we have the subject now go ahead and create the environment variable file to put these guys there because I'm going to store some secrets what I'm going to create is .env.local which will not be committed to your uh, git version control whatever and then I'm going to have the email host mail uh, port and mail what was that let me copy from here user and password mail user mail password the values you enter here are up to you depends on the email service you are using if you are using google or you're using um, zoho whatever for the purpose of this demonstration i'm going to make use of a free email service the mail trap so here i'm going to grab my smtp credentials and put in the .env this is the host whatever service you are using is going to provide you similar credentials so i'll go over here and put the host and the port uh, I think should be 465 when using secure I don't know but let's try that and the username and finally the password all right now we go to the route the route handler and just call this function so over here in the route handler I will export async function this is going to be a post um, route and then let's get the argument we are going to pass to the function send email let's have sender uh, this is going to be of type mail address if we check what is inside here we just have the name of the the person that owns the email and the address so 
I'll go over here and have name of the sender. Let's say the name is my app and address whatever no reply at example.com for recipients we do something similar but an array so recipient to be equal to array of mail address I'm going to have name let's say we are sending to John Doe and address to be John dot Doe at example dot com you can add more recipients if you think is okay to send to more than one person at a time and then we have const or let me put a try cache here because I didn't put in the in the function const result to be equal to await send email and this is expecting sender recipient the subject um, let's say welcome to our website and the message and send whatever you want to send um, let's say you are welcome okay now when the result when i get the result i just want to return that response to the client return response dot json let me okay let me return this actually i don't know what this is sending to the client so to be on a safer side let me see let me see what is inside here dot accepted reject i'll just send accepted there accept to be respond dot accepted but if there's an error i will just return nothing and send a message so i'll just send a message saying unable to send email this time actually that's not the syntax this should come here and let me put a status code here of 500 unable to send email this time try again later okay we have a route handler ready the function for sending email and the page let's give this a try and see what happens i will head over to the terminal and run this application npm run dev on the browser i will visit localhost 3000 where we should have our button so let me click on this button it says processing trying to send email and it was successful if i go back now to this email inbox this test inbox you can see that we got the message welcome to our website and the sender is my app no reply at example.com and the recipient is john doe so sending email works if you want to learn more about the different options like sending to cc and etc you can go to nodemailer documentation to see what you can configure so this is a basic example of how you can send email from next.js application i hope it makes sense until next time enjoy coding